Hi everyone! I am back today for the second time with a hopefully shorter video sharing my traveler's notebook setup and just a quick few little things that I picked up from Target today. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen my IG stories where I posted this little haul, but I wanted to come on here and just quickly share them with you in case you don't follow me on Instagram or you miss the um, stories. I know that not everyone watches those. So let me just go through them really quickly. The first thing I picked up were these copper toned skeleton clips. They come in this little box and these were three dollars. Then I got these page flags which are the more um, I guess traditional page flags in the sense of the pattern but not the specific shape. Anyway they're just in this floral page flags. These were a, I mean floral print and these were just a dollar. Then you have these more cutesy Christmas page flags which are stinking adorable which of course you can see is a dollar as well. The rest of these items actually are all a dollar each. So I got these puffy stickers and they have little um, furball accents on them. Really, really cute. Then what I went to Target for looking um, to look for were these sticker books. So I'm so glad that I was able to pick up both that came out and they have 500 stickers in each. Um, some have glitter on them and then they have like a duplicate page of non-glitter version. Then you just have some round ones and then you've got this assortment here and they then repeat themselves. So I am probably going to break these up and share them with friends. The next sticker book is this one here, which is more traditional color of green and red. So again, you have the glitter and then the non-glitter, these squares that actually look like little stamps that are really cute, and then all of these deco stickers here. So again, I'm going to break those up and share them with friends. Then I picked up this one single sticker pack, which is very similar to that blue sticker pack, but these are a bit larger. And for a dollar, I figured, why not? So, um, moving right along to my traveler's notebook, this is one of about four traveler's notebooks that I currently have. This is the pocket size, um, Chic Sparrow, Mr. Darcy. And this particular one is all dressed up for Christmas. She's completely decked out and I cannot wait to work on my Maverick decor. But for now, she is completely ready. So just looking at this book on the outside, um, the theme I was going for in terms of the color scheme was a very sugar plum fairyland type Christmas. Um, so a lot of pastels and lighter colors as opposed to the more tradition, uh, traditional colors, which I will be putting in my Maverick setup. So just looking at this book on the outside, the first thing you have is um, this kind of like tassel sort of creation, which is basically just a bunch of assorted ribbons that I got from Michaels tied on the front here. This crystal um, stone was what was on here before, and I just left it because I thought it looked really pretty together with the light colors here. Then I um, made my um, bookmarks. These are the first tassel or charm bookmarks actually I think they're called that I've ever made before and um, you know I did make a, a couple mistakes with them but in the end I was really um, impressed and happy with how they turned out and the color scheme works perfectly. So the pen that I'm currently using here was from the Powder World subscription box and it is a very pale pink that just says hello gold with gold accent and then um, you have this paper clip that protrudes out the top which was also in the Powder World box. So let's go ahead and move right inside to the book itself. So when we first flip open, you will see there are some page flags. These also came from the, taller, the Target dollar spot, I should say. And then behind here, you have two little, um, they really are like month at a glance. So here is November, and then this is December on this side. And so this you could just kind of pull out, quickly look at what days fall um, on what days of the week. And then you have a little paper clip here. So this first dashboard, and I had made all these dashboards myself, says Wonderful Winter. And then it just says Burr on the background, really super cute. 
So um, this is a So Much Crafting insert and it is completely plain on the outside but I wasn't sure if I wanted to decorate it with something permanent um, so instead I just washied on this um, Project Life card that says find something you love and do it forever. I thought with the pale blue and the white wreath kind of decor this worked perfectly to match the whole scheme of this notebook. And I just have the inside cover and the um, outer kind of cover clipped together with this pa uh, page flag paper clip which was also from the Target dollar spot. So here's an example of just a couple of pages that I've already decorated so far and I really love being able to use my Erin Condren stickers in a smaller format like this because so many of my kits that I purchased get um, their stickers left over so it's really great to be able to utilize them in here. So this page on the inside of the inserts was just blank. And again, I didn't want to commit to anything permanent. So this is a, um, not a sticky note, but just like a notepad that came in a large pack. And so I just held him in here with one of those paper clips. So the this is the back of that dashboard. And it's just so adorable. I love, I don't know, I love this artwork here it's just so super cute and then on this side here it said if snowflakes were kisses I'd send you a blizzard which is adorable and I put some washi on here and then I laminated the whole entire thing so then moving forward we have this expense book and this is a printout from uh, Annie Plans Printables um, these are brand new we just printed them last week and I have not gotten around to writing in them in fact for right now, I think I'm going to start this particular insert in the very beginning of the year, starting with January. So here you can just see what they look like, and it, uh, excuse me, it's what they look like rather. Um, and it says here date, purchases, amount, and then balance. And on the opposite side, it just has a section for you to write additional notes in. And then it just looks exactly the same for every single month. So let's see here. Here's the back of this dashboard and the front of this one. Really adorable. Oh dear. And then here's the inside. This is a pocket from the Target Dollar Spot, the, the pack that they sold of those pockets. And um, this is just a little card that says bucket list, swim with mermaids, dance with fairies, play in the stars, ride a unicorn. Because yes, who wouldn't want to do all of those things? <laughs> and you have a paper clip. And this is from a brand new shop that I just ordered from called Sugar and Ivy. It's really great that she lives in the next state over to me. And that she has a quick... Um, turnaround time so I got these fairly quick in the mail I highly recommend her shop her felt paper clips are adorable they are priced reason reasonably and they're made really well there's a full backing on each of the clips so it's really perfect okay moving in here um, you have the holiday insert from Annie plans and um, I have not written in any of these new inserts again because I just printed these but I cannot wait to use them once we get into December so speaking of which this gives you an entire month at a glance and um, these little boxes for me personally just because my handwriting is a bit larger I don't think that even if I scaled it down to the smallest that I possibly could I don't believe that it would be able to fit fit into these boxes so what I did instead was I had these teeny tiny little dot stickers from um, they were just left over in part of a kit and what I did was I just placed a tiny little dot sticker in each one of the dates that I already know I have something important going on and that way when I look at December if somebody asks me hey are you free on this day I can quickly just glance at this if I see a dot I'll know that there's definitely something going on and I can refer to my main planner since this um you know this system is just too small for me to be able to write in but i figured this way i can kind of look at it all at once and um, be able to refer back to it in that in that way 
So the next page is holiday shows to watch and it just says name, date, time, channel, network, which is really cool because yes, this girl needs to catch up on all of her shows. I love all the Lifetime Christmas shows and um, you know, all the classic shows, so that's really perfect. The next page is for a ho holiday card list, so you just write the person's name and there's a checkbox for when you send their card off or you place it in the mail, whichever one you wanna pick. Next, it says December bucket list, and again, it has these check boxes. Okay, so this page in particular is the very reason that I purchased these inserts for Manny Plants because um, I have a definite budget for every person that I spend, and so therefore, it'll let me um, kind of keep track of everyone and, you know, make sure that no one gets forgotten. And also, it's a great way to, like, if I see something that reminds me of that person, I can just write in here um, kind of the idea that I have and maybe go back to it later on when I am ready to purchase the gift. So it just says name, gift, budget, and then check mark. So that's perfect. And then there are two pages of this exact page, which is also excellent because I have a lot of friends and family. Um, the next one here says New Year's resolutions, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a piece of washi and cover this title and write over it to say Black Friday because um, I don't really make New Year's resolutions. I do have a goals kind of list that I keep for myself at the beginning of the year. Um, but I don't like to make New Year's resolutions. I don't know. It's just not my thing. I never really find that I stick to it. And um, so, yeah, I, instead of wasting this page, what I'm going to do is um, I have a lot of sales that I want to take advantage of this year on Black Friday specifically. Well, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whichever. Um, yeah, there's definitely quite a few things that I want to get on a good deal. So I don't want to miss any of those things at all. In order to do that, I'm going to write myself a list. And this is the perfect page to do it on. So that's what I plan on using this whole entire two pages for. And that's the back, of course. Then you have another pocket here. It has a Project Life card on it with some sticky notes of this really cute bear wearing a cozy sweater. And then you have this, like, cupcake girly um, snowman or snow girl, whatever you want to call her, cupcake. And it's just so stinking cute. And again, this is by Sugar and Ivy on Etsy. That's what the back of this insert looks like. And then you have this one here, which says um, Snow Mountain, Two Day Pass. And then I put a little washi that says Merry Christmas, really stinking cute. And you have another pocket here, which just holds some stickers. Um, right now, these are not Christmas stickers, but I'll probably switch them out to Christmas stickers later on. And then in this book, I'm not even going to open it up. It's just a lined book. On the outside, it says ideas. And in here, I will write down quotes that I could up with and um, ideas for future Etsy items that I want to include in the shop, all kinds of things like that. The back of this insert is just plain white and I need to do something with that because it's driving me nuts. But then this is what the back of this final insert looks like. In this pocket here you just have this um, set of post-it notes and these are separate. There's Santa Claus here and then the rest of them just say memo and there's a little tree on the side. And and then I made myself this um, washi sampler card to keep in um, the back here of my traveler's notebook so that I could have washi on the go. I just used some leftover laminate for the covers, uh, from the covers that I make. And um, yeah, these are, these one, two, three, four were from the Target Dollar Spot washi. And then the rest of these here came in a pack, which I found at Home Goods, And I believe they were by AC crafting or something like that you you would probably find them if you went to tj maxx home goods marshall's any of those so that is my entire setup i am so excited for christmas i know we are not even at the end of november yet but um yeah, I just cannot wait. I love Christmas, and I'm so happy that I'm already all decorated. So I hope you liked this video. Um, please give me a thumbs up, and if you want to subscribe for more videos, I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!